set of rotors here. They got a zinc coating on them. We got Brembo pads here. We got the uh, tension clips for the front and the uh, sliders for the back. Definitely Brembo stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is factory Tesla parts. Very, very nice parts. This is probably from Bergamo, Italy. I haven't uh, seen any markings that say anywhere where the parts are manufactured, but generally. That's where I find this particular type of Brembo's comes from. Yeah. So these are marked outer and inner as the uh, low pad indicator, like the squealer, is going to be on the inside because you can visually inspect for thin pads usually just by looking through the wheels, but the inner. If you're looking through the wheel the, uh, and the calipers here, the inner pad will be obscured. You won't be able to see it, so they have the warning squealer that sits about, oh, I'm going to say about 80 thousandths of an inch or like one and a half millimeters, two millimeters out from the, the backing plate. So these marked out are in there. Out are in there. Looks like we have everything we're going to need, so we can get moving. is because the rotors are getting a little rusty. We're starting to get a little bit of swishing noise and a little bit of screeching every now and then. are still in pretty good shape but we're going to change them. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting in between the pad and the rotor and uh, sometimes you'd want to be careful doing that if you were going to reuse those parts but we're not going to reuse these so I'm not too concerned if I scratch the rotor a little bit. Again it's just too bad there's so much uh, you know de-icing compounds and, uh, on our roads up here. Yeah, the pad's a little bit glazed, a little bit uh, pulled rust, but you know, otherwise pretty good. Now here, I want to take a look inside here, and make sure there's not too much. Uh, careful to look inside, make sure there's. No dirt buildup or too much corrosion, anything like that. We're going to clean and that a little bit. Now this bolt doesn't need to be very tight, just barely tighter than finger tight. And that's important because you don't want the rotor to sit crooked on the hub. If the rotor sits crooked on the hub, it's going to have a slight run out, which is going to create a thickness variation, which is going to give you a, a brake pulsation. So in English, that means on the highway at 120, when you hit the brakes, your steering wheel is going to shake like crazy. I 
like it. Can't argue with it. Maybe I'll see if I can get some SpaceX stock. Some SpaceX crypto for that new asteroid we're going to be mining. I have no idea. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe our our, uh, our buddy Elon will watch this video and, and be listening. I'm just applying a slight amount of uh, anti-seize compound to all of these different surfaces because in Canada this stuff gets rusty. And this has not gotten that way, and I don't want it to. So on the other side, the, uh, the squid will be on the top, but that's okay. I'm sure they designed it that way for a reason, probably, so they only have to make uh, one part number instead of having to make two. So, same as all the other stuff, you know. They don't do this from the factory, but up here it's a real good idea to put a little bit of anti-seize on all these surfaces that are going to see contact and they're going to see wear and, and getting salt and dirt on them because this stuff really, really makes a huge difference. The next time, the next guy that's going to take this apart, which is probably going to be, be me, is going to be real thankful that this was done. Because it's going to make his life a whole lot easier and it's going to make the job a whole lot cheaper for the customer if he doesn't have to buy a set of Brembo calipers that have to come all the way from Italy. And as you'll see how much easier this stuff is moving for me, even with my bare hand, as opposed to before. I mean, these pins are almost fully inserted. And there's a, like a tension clip. That's the brakes on one corner, so we're just going to rotate our rotor, make sure we don't hear any noise, make sure everything's good, need a little bit of grease. We need. One other point I should mention is that not only is it important not to over tighten this rotor uh, retaining bolt to the hub, it's also extremely important to torque the wheel uh, in the correct pattern and at the correct torque. because. If that's not done, again, the rotor is going to have a different tension at either place. And once the rotor's heat cycled, it's going to expand and contract at a different rate in different places on the hat of the rotor, which is going to make the friction surface of the rotor no longer exactly uh, parallel and uh, congruent with the face of the hub, which is going to do the same thing. It's going to create a run out, which is going to give you a thickness variation, which is going to give you a brake pulsation, which in English means your steering wheel is going to shake like crazy when you stop on the highway. So we don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. What's the spec on this one? Around 40? For PSI? Yeah. 42? 42. Alright. 42 PSI. So here I'm just going to put some anti-seize behind this rotor on this hub here after cleaning it up in order to prevent that from happening again. And that corrosion can actually contribute to uh, 
rotor run out because the rust can build up on one side more than the other because water has a tendency to flow down because of gravity and create a rust spot at the bottom. So if the car is, say, parked wet, which is all the time if you drive around here in Canada in the wintertime, the rust will develop on the bottom more so than anywhere else and it will create a an angle on the rotor which will create a thickness variation which will create a brake pulsation which will make the car kind of feel like the back end is shaking when you apply the brakes at high speed like at a stop from say 100 or 120 kilometers an hour. This way we won't have that problem. Same thing on top of the clip. So I'm going to put a bit more on top of this clip inside here. Anywhere I'm going to have any parts contact, any movement, any potential for uh, any buildup of any corrosion. So if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. And uh, if there's something you'd like to see, put it in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do for you.